Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It is great to have you here for another episode of the Scrotely Experiments in From the Depths. So in the video you just saw, you got to experience the wonder and grandiose, majestic greatness of the High Altitude Ripper, which is what we are inside of right now. You can uh, see the missile array here, the harpoon array, if you will. So I thought I'll just go over this, this build and explain it real quick, explain the thought behind it. And then we can test it out on a few enemies, just for funsies. So here we are, we're up at the top here. We are, let's see if we can find out how high up we are. Uh, we are around 550 meters up. Oh, I guess everything's measured in meters. I should remember that. I keep saying feet sometimes. I guess I mean meters. So here is the concept behind this. This is a structure, not a vehicle, not a fortress. It is a structure and it is anchored on the ocean floor by just this very small what is this like uh let's see how many blocks this is let's see, yeah nine blocks so nine block wide beam that's it and this goes all the way up now at around this uh, right around here is where we uh we start adding the rams and these rams go all the way up to the very top of this bad boy let's quad time it here get all the way up there so Let's let's look at the stats on this. Um, this is a 3.1 million RP build. Again, it's 1.2 million in metal, 530,000 in uh, natural resources. It doesn't take much oil, but it is 21,000 blocks. This thing is a beast. So what it is essentially is it's like this upside down half pyramid, and the whole thing's covered with rams. And what the the whole concept is this: these these harpoons, once they shoot, when they latch onto a target. Excuse me, they should try to reel it up and drag it across the rams, either like on the on the beam coming up or on the rams on the side of the pyramid. You know, they should just drag the enemy around. And this was sort of the icing on the cake. I added this on way after the fact. I was like, this just needs a little something else. What I had realized was, as enemies were brought up here, you know, the rams do a little bit of damage, but the bigger the ship, usually the less damage that's done by the rams because the harpoons don't have the pulling power to uh, fling it against the rams to really do that damage. So I added this turret in up here, which it's, uh, its firing constraints are set such that it will only hit um, enemies that are dragged up right around here. It has like a 100, 150 meter firing range. It's, it's very short. And uh, that's the thought anyways. You know, people get sucked up, this guy shoots them. The cool thing is though is this, because this is a structure, and because the enemy is generally touching it at all times, as we are destroying the enemy, after a certain point, once we've destroyed their AI core, the, they become our ship. Like, we, we can hit E, and I'll show you that here. We will see the enemy ships appearing in here. And, uh, you know, what you could do then is be really smart and do something like this. Let's just do this real quick. I didn't think about doing this earlier. This would have been epic. Uh, we will put a vehicle scrapper right here. And essentially, any vehicle that becomes ours, we'll just scrap it and immediately get the resources. And I'll show you what that looks like. So last but not least, let's take a look at the harpoon setup. So in order to maximize the power for these harpoons, um, I was digging around on the forums, and I noticed multiple people mention that if you want maximum winching power, you need one winch uh, per one missile controller, uh, which is right here. I think this is a missile controller, right? Let me... Yeah, one missile controller. So you want one missile controller controlling one missile and one winch, and that will give you maximum winching power. The winchification, winchification, winchification. Yeah, that could be a word. We can go with it. It's going to be real. It's for reals. So anyways, yeah, there's just an array of these, you know, each one controlling its own harpoon. And then if we take a look at the actual missile makeup right here, let us do that, huh? Here's what we have, two, two thrusters. Now the second thruster fires after 10 seconds, so we don't have crazy fuel burn right off the, the get-go. And that's because every, every launcher has an ejector on it to get the missiles going. And we've got five fuel tanks, four fuel tanks, one, two, three, four, I can count. A one turn to help the harpoon, you know, get to its destination. A few sets of fins here. Definitely, you gotta have the augmented proportional navigation guidance. Like, you gotta have this. If you wanna hit a fast flying anything, fast moving anything, you need one of these bad boys. And then, of course, here's the good stuff. Here's the gravy. This is, uh, we got two cable drums. Both of these provide 400 meters of cable. And we've got the harpoon itself, which is, you know, the har har harpoon head plus 200 more meters of cable. We've got the camera, which uh, goes hand in hand with the IR, the infrared seeker. So, this helps us hone in on our target, and the camera. 
is set to random blocks. So all the harpoons will just go to random blocks. Giggity gaggity gooch. That's what they're going to do. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise, you know, we just have a bunch of ammo barrels up here and uh, some AI to communicate with the turret. So let's load something in and let's check this bad boy out. Let's go interfaceless, interface off, interface off, off, off. So what I do, because I want to dictate where the enemy loads, I'm using the escape load vehicle method as opposed to hitting X and loading something in. Both ways work just fine. Uh, using X is a much nicer interface. So let's start off here with something semi-big. In fact, you know what? Let's just start off with the Marauder. This is a pretty big ship, and it's a classic. So here's the Marauder. Now, you'll, you'll be able to see how this can take a while. So this is, this is almost 4,000 blocks. So let me make sure I got my weapon selected. Okay, here we go. I'm going to shoot. All right, I've fired. So we can go up here and check it out. So here come all the harpoons. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like long strands of spaghetti just shooting out of the, the mama pot. Coming down here to your mouth. Boom. All right, Marauder hit. So sometimes it can take a while to get the lifting action going. Um, sometimes they have to sort of squeech in a little bit. But you can see here we're starting to lift. Starting to lift. The Marauder's going to keep shooting. Now it would be unfortunate if he shot through our middle beam. Let's see, where's he going? Most of the... Yeah, his missile can't even reach that high. So here we go. We got some lifting action. Whoop, whoop. What I really like is when the harpoons drag the enemy along the middle beam here. Oh, it's just so wonderful. Oh, look at this guy. He's just flying all over. <laughs> so the harpoons themselves, the winches, I'm sorry, the winches are set to reel in all the way to zero, and they have no time limit. So, you know, it works out for us um, as long as we're able to kill the enemy. However, winches on a structure can be quite glitchy. I've noticed, see, we have like 30 or 40 going on here, you know, something like that, the, these harpoon lines. Uh, if I try to shoot again before all these lines disappear, then the harpoons just glitch out royally. It's like a royal glitching. So here we go. This guy is just firing away at the Marauder. Look how wonderful this is. I mean, the harpoons just hold the, the enemy in place. And then, well, we just shoot him into oblivion. So what's going to happen here is the turret's going to shoot until it's ours. And when the turret stops, I think it just did. Look, we just got ourselves a Marauder. How crazy is that? This is now our ship. So what I can do is now we can come over here to our scrapper. We can take our Marauder and we can scrap it. Check it. It's blown up. It's percents going down. And then at a certain point here, he's going to be almost gone. And then we're just going to say destroy it. It's almost there. Almost there. And then we'll say destroy. Boom. And then we just got all the resources. Look at that. How cool is that? Tell me that's not the coolest thing ever. Like, this is a highly defensive structure, obviously. You can't do too much with it. But let's try to load in one more here. It's just, it's seriously so much fun. I had way, way too much fun with this thing. I can't tell you. Now, I will say this. If, if, if the ship is large and made of lots of metal, then this probably won't be able to pick it up. There's a lot of stuff that this thing just cannot pick up. Like, I've never tried a river home. Let's, let's give that a try. This might be too big. How big is this? 2,500 blocks. So let's get the weapons selected. Let's get a shot off here. All right, here they come. Here they come, baby. River home. He may be difficult because of this huge metal uh, defensive plating shield on the front. And see, that's why you want random blocks as well. Oh, oh we're getting some lift action. Hang on. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do this. So a lot, the, the lifting will really start happening, like right around here. It's as they get uh, closer, as the harpoons get closer to the reeling in, that the lifting can begin. Now the unfortunate thing is this, while the harpoons are reeling in, like the enemy is totally free to keep shooting, obviously. So things can get difficult. Here we go. Starting to lift. Starting to lift as we get uh, tension here on the lines. Oh yes. Wow, this is a pretty big ship. This is, this is probably heavier than the Marauder, just gauging on how the lifting's going. So, ooh, he may be dragged against the uh, the rams here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a good view. You're going to get dragged against these babies? Boom! <laughs> Barely. See, they don't do too much damage. Although, there we go. Let's take a look at his health. Yeah, okay, we've already taken off like 30 blocks. So, yeah, now we're just lifting. Look how funny this looks. 
Look at this. It looks hilarious to me. Like, we are just lifting this ship out of the water. Ooh, okay, he is getting some shots up there. Oh, he is hitting our center, our center beam. That's dangerous. Ladies and gentlemen, that is way dangerous. Because if you disconnect the center beam, you see it's game over. And so as we are lifting this river home, we are still damaging it with the rams. Let's see how much damage we've done. Okay, almost 100 blocks. Just in the process of lifting this guy. So let's get up here. Let's get ready. Here he comes. He's still taking damage. He's still shooting us now. He's starting to do a uh, grip of damage. It, now, if he does get a shot inside of the missile array, that could be bad. And if our own turret shoots our own structure, that could be bad. He it, he does have a failsafe on there. He shouldn't be shooting, but uh, it has happened a few times where he has taken our middle beam out. And it has happened a few times where when the enemy is being drug up the, the middle pole <laughs> with the, the rams, that it has exploded in such a way that took out the middle beam. But just look how effective that is. As long as you can lift the ship, we do it and boom, look, we got ourselves a river home. How f It's so cool. And then we just come over here and let's get all the resources for it. It's like an immediate suckle and grippled grapple. I don't know what any of that means, but we're doing it, baby. We are doing it. Grippling and grappling, not having sex. So, all right, we are disintegrating the river home. He's going, he's going down. And then when he's done, we'll just scrap him. There we go, more resources. So that's it. That's the concept. This is a high altitude ripper. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any ideas or suggestions or things you'd like to see me try to build, drop me a comment uh, on the video. And, you know, if it's something that piques my interest and looks cool, I will definitely give it a go. And, uh, you know, hey, give it the old thumb bang if you enjoyed the, the episode. And if you're not already, already a sub, come on and be a sub. We could always use more here in the Scrotorium. So until next time, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.